I'm Miss Laney from the Culpepper Library, and we're going to do some bubble painting today. Bubble painting is a really great way to practice measuring, and I have a measuring cup. I have this little bathroom size cup, and I've got some larger cups here. And the other thing you need for bubble painting is some tempera paints. I'm going to experiment with some washable tempera and regular. And the other thing you need are straws and water. Really easy to get stuff. So let's get started. So first I think I'm going to try some yellow. We have these little bathroom cups and they are three ounces and it looks like they came from Walmart but I'm sure there are many other places to get them. So what I'm going to do is I have these little foam bowls and I'm going to try, I've never tried foam bowls and of course I'm going to make a mess. And you might want to use a baking sheet or something because this can get very messy as we get overexcited about blowing bubbles. So I filled it almost to the top and the one recipe that I read suggested for it to be a two to two ratio. So and then one with water. So to be the same amount of soap with paint. So we are putting the same amount of soap, dish soap, with our tempera paint. And it called for very little water. So I'm going to fill this about halfway up with water. We will see how this works. So I'm going to take a little break and stir it up. Okay, so we have stirred up one color of bubble paint. And I did it just with the back of a spoon. So I'm going to grab my straw. Let's give it a shot. So we've got some bubbles and let's see how this comes out. The really nice thing about this nice big bowl is it makes a nice big print. Let's see how the washable paint does. I think we found it that we want to use a lot of dish soap and we want to use a lot of paint because this looks really nice. We will see you soon at the library or on another Steam or Maker video. Have a great day.